I've been told that I drank from this water bottle like a hamster, which is true. I feel like if you don't have like a little button nose, when you're drinking a water it's just like, it's just gonna like bonk you in the nose. Hello everyone. As with many people, I am sad that Halloween is over, but luckily I am one of those lucky annoying bitches who loves Christmas just as much, if not more than Halloween. So we are still in my prime time, the peak of my power. I'm excited for the holidays. And one aspect of that, whether uh, we like it or not, I guess, is giving gifts to people. I love giving gifts. I love receiving gifts if they're good. I hate receiving gifts if I'm never gonna use it and I'm just kind of saddled with a new thing. One of the things I wanna talk about is how to get people gifts that they're actually going to use and enjoy. So today we're gonna to be talking about lingerie. Specifically, we're going to be talking about pieces marketed for women, traditionally feminine pieces. I'd love to know what else you wanna see. This is just kind of the stuff that I'm most familiar with. Um, it's the stuff that I've sold before. It's the kind of market that I spend the most time looking at. But if you have specific things you want, I would be happy to try and make more guides like this before Christmas. So you, the uh, person watching this, want to buy lingerie for someone else, someone who is not you. There are a few things to consider going into this. The first thing is price point. Lingerie can get pricey because it's very complicated to make. It's kind of a specialty industry. Most of the stuff I'm going to be recommending today will run you maybe $25 for a pair of underwear to $200 for a set or, you know, like a fancier item. That said, this advice that I'm giving can apply to all price points, but this is again the nature of the market that I'm most familiar with. When it comes to the price point of the lingerie you're buying, your best guide is going to be kind of what does this person already wear. So if they wear kind of anything on any part of the price spectrum, you can kind of, you know, maybe go up a little bit if you want to treat them or you don't have to really go that pricey as long as you know kind of what's important to them and what's not. But if they exclusively buy kind of mid-market or higher market items, they probably have some qualm with those lower price point items, like maybe it's the fit, the materials, the labor practices or something like that. So it's just something you want to keep in mind and you don't want to get them something that is uh, something that they actively avoid buying for some reason or another. So then we have size. I'm going to talk a little bit about wire bras and all of the complexities that come with trying to buy those for other people. But in general, for most people, I tend to recommend not buying someone a wire bra. Um, you can instead buy them a bralette and panty kind of set combo. And those are usually sized more like small, medium, large. And then there are also kind of more free size items like robes, and those are a really good option, especially because I think a lot of people like them, but most people won't buy them for themselves. Really just keeping in mind, all right, how well do I know this person's size? <laughs> And then from there you can say, all right, well, this is something I can buy with very little risk. Some people will return gifts that they get that are the wrong size, but ideally we don't wanna have that problem to begin with. And so the last thing that I want you to consider, and this one's a little more kind of personal, you're diving a little bit deeper, is this thing you're buying going to make the person you're buying it for feel good? There are different ways that this can manifest. Maybe you're buying it for someone who's only gonna wear it once a year, but they'll feel really cute and sexy when they wear it. You're buying something for another person, so you just need to make sure that their comfort and how they're going to feel in and about the item is prioritized. Materials. Do they only buy things that are natural fibers? Do they only buy things that are smooth and not lacy? Um, things like this are a really easy way to pinpoint, is this person going to wear this thing that I buy them or not? Because if they are really sensitive to fibers, even if they feel really cute in something, it doesn't matter as much if they're never going to be able to wear it. Again, paying attention to, all right, well, this person won't wear lace for these things, but they do like having lace for these like special occasion moments. Also very good to know, and if you know that, then you can kind of lean on that information as well. The next one is silhouettes and colors and styles in general. So if you know that someone only buys really minimal clean cut lingerie, you probably don't wanna be buying them a super frilly piece unless it's something that they've talked to you about before. There 
are definitely ways to kind of acknowledge and respect the styles that the person you're buying for feels most confident and comfortable and cute and sexy in, while also getting them something that feels special and maybe different from what they normally get. Since lingerie is so personal, if someone has one niche that they really stick to, there is a good chance that they've gone through a lot of different things to get there, especially if they really like lingerie and it's something they pay attention to regularly. And then the last one is, is this something you have talked about before? If you have talked to someone a lot about lingerie, you probably have a lot more information to go off. So even if someone would be comfortable with you buying them lingerie, if you've never spoken to them about it, you have no idea what they're gonna want and like. Basically what we want is just to avoid buying someone something that then is gonna sit in their drawer and they're just gonna kind of feel weird about it. But it's again, just coming down to knowing the person and knowing what they want and what works in their wardrobe and how it's gonna fit into their life. So with all that said, let's dive into some concrete advice as far as how to buy people lingerie for the holidays. If this is not your first time on my channel, you probably know that most people are not wearing the right size of bra. So with this in mind, you just kind of want to take stock of the situation you're in. So if you know, all right, well, this person never wears wire bras except for like in the bedroom for like, you know, a little bit of time, then you can kind of just go by whatever they have and you don't have to worry about it that much. If this is someone who wears bras, every day for daily wear and you want to buy them something that they will wear even to maybe just like events or anything like that if they're going to be wearing it out of the house you really need to know their size you cannot and you should not guess someone's bra size there are too many sizes there are too many ways it can go wrong it's very unlikely that you would guess the right size even if you're someone like me and I, in general, can look at someone and guess pretty close to their bra size, but I would still never buy someone something if I didn't know what size they actually wore. So a little bit of etiquette, and this is mostly for um, cis men shopping for uh, <laughs> their partners. This is something that um, I'm gonna say it. Some of you are gonna think that sounds ridiculous. Some of you are gonna go, oh, should have done that. If you walk into a specialty lingerie store or any lingerie store and you are asking an associate who is not paid enough to deal with this, I want a bra for my girlfriend. And they say, what size does she wear? Do not under any circumstances go like this. It's weird, it's creepy, and it's unoriginal. It's also not helpful. If you don't know their size, don't buy them a wire bra. If this is someone who has gotten fitted before, has a specialty shop they really like. You can look at bras in their drawer already. This is something I only, only, only recommend if they've gotten fit within the last year or two. Otherwise, avoid this. <laughs> if they've gone to a specialty shop a lot, that shop might have their size on file. I'm not sure if even most of them will share that with you. There are definitely situations where you might be able to say, hey, my wife has been in here a lot. Does she have anything that she's saved for later or anything like that? It's really just gonna depend on what shop you are looking in. If you really wanna get them a wire bra, specifically, maybe you know they only wear wire bras, they're always complaining about their bras. I wanna get them something that they will like, that will make them feel good and will fit them. A really, really good present is a bra fitting or a gift certificate to a lingerie shop that does bra fittings. So what I usually recommend for this is going to, so you're gonna do a little research, find a specialty bra shop near you, type it in, find a gift certificate, and then you can always write like a note that says like, I love you and I want you to feel good in whatever you wear. Um, this location does bra fittings and I think it would be a really great opportunity for you to get to find something that you'll really like and really get to use just to make sure that you really love the gift that I get you. If you're like, no, this doesn't apply to me, I know the person's size that I'm buying this for. This is a, uh, I'm like hesitant to give this advice because I'm like, probably you, you just shouldn't. Anyways, if you really know someone's size and you wanna buy them a wire bra, here are things you have to know going in. You not only need to know their size, so band and cup, confirmed, and this has to be like 
their actual size, the size that they are comfortable in. If they have no complaints about the comfort of their bra, you need to know what fit problems they normally have. So are they always spilling out of bras? Um, does it always hurt on the sides? Anything like that. Some of these are gonna refer to size, in which case go back to my previous advice, um, but some of them will just refer to shapes. So if you know someone's size and you know that they always get cut off right here, then maybe you can lean towards a more full coverage bra or something made for fuller busts or full on top busts. And then you need to know what they tend to like. So for example, if someone really likes mesh, really minimal stuff, you can check out my cup alternative video. If you wanna buy someone a bra, feel free to check out some of my other videos about bra fitting. My bra recommendations under $70 video is a good place to start. I talk about some brands that are really good. And I think the best way to go about this, again, if you have a specialty bra shop in your area, go there, buy the bra, get a gift receipt. And that way, if they get it and you know there is some little fit problem, they can always bring it back and try on a new bra. A lot of people hate giving gift certificates um, because it can feel kind of impersonal. And I definitely understand the appeal of being able to have like an actual gift for someone to open up on, you know, Christmas or whatever holiday you're celebrating. But I think that they're a really, really good and thoughtful gift, especially when it comes to something like a bra fitting. Like you can almost think of it more like giving someone like a massage in that you're giving someone this thing, this like experience that's going to be really beneficial for them and can be really nice and fun, I guess, depending on where you go. So the way that I would recommend doing a gift certificate, you write a letter and or a note. And I think that your, your card is really, really gonna come in clutch when it comes to making a gift certificate feel really personal, really intentional, make the person feel really good. And even if you want to be like, I can go with you or I cannot go with you, Having a really nice card can really make the experience of opening up a gift certificate feel just as emotional and fulfilling and exciting as having an actual gift. I wish that I had like a bunch of specialty bra shops I could recommend you right now, um, but a lot of the ones I used to recommend closed in the pandemic, which sucks. There are resources you can use to find them. I just, I can't go through and give you a list of every specialty bra shop even in the United States, it's just too many. The two that I've tried that I really love that are still open, which is very sad because I've tried a lot of bra shops, are Petticoat Fair in Austin, which is a really great shop, really good size selection, super, super knowledgeable staff. If you go in there, you're definitely gonna have a good experience. They really know what they're talking about. And then I also really like the pencil test in Portland, Oregon. So for the rest of you, <laughs> when you are trying to find a specialty bra shop. In general, what I would recommend is you can take a look at some of the other videos I've done and some of the brands I recommend. So for example, Parfait or Chantel, Panache or Cosabella, and look at their stockists on the website and it'll pull up different places that sell those items. So something like Parfait, Chantel, or Panache, those pretty much aren't really sold in big department stores, but they are sold at a lot of specialty bra shops. You can kind of use that little map finder, see if there's anything near you. If it's gonna be a couple hours away, plan a little day trip, I don't know. I'm just so desperate. I, I think that it's such a good experience <laughs> to get people into specialty bra shops to get fitted. But that said, if there's nothing near you, there are definitely ways you can go online. I know that there are online bra fittings. I haven't personally done any of them, so I don't feel comfortable recommending specific ones. They are around. You can find online bra fittings, and this might be something where you can get someone that and then say like, and I'll buy you a set afterwards or something. As far as amount goes, I usually try and figure out like, all right, well, what is the general amount that you want to give them? Do you wanna give them enough to buy a bra panty set or two or three bras? And you can usually talk to the associate and they'll tell you, you know, this is how much our bras tend to run. And you can kind of just go, from there. What I tend to do is I tend to get someone a gift certificate and then I say what I would have got them if I didn't get them a gift certificate. And I say, this is the thing that I thought you would really enjoy. That said, I obviously want you to get whatever's gonna be most useful to you, get whatever you want. I'll get off my, my wire bra pedestal. The big thing is if you're going into a shop to ask for an underwire bra, you need to already know their size and you need to be polite. Just be nice to the people working at these shops and 
understand that they know more than you do um, and that they are there to help you. The next one we're looking at is bralette and panty sets. And this is a really, really good option. If you don't know someone's exact bra size, but you have a pretty good idea of their size in general, matching sets can really span a lot of different categories. You can go sexy, you can go comfy, you can go practical, you can do a mix of all of those. The nice thing is they can be worn separately, which makes them very, very practical. I'm gonna give you a couple of options. I think all of my previous advice about knowing what styles they like and what they feel most comfortable in still applies, but um, a couple of options for matching sets. So if the person you are buying for has tig bitties, especially if this is someone who has a really small frame, I recommend the Cosabella Curvy Bralette and they're just classic cutie low res thong. All of Cosabella's stuff is really good. I recommended them in my last video. I really like them. And the big thing about their bralettes is they're very cute, they're comfy, they are sexy, and they're also really, really practical. If you are shopping for someone who's really picky about textures and comfort, then I recommend the Angela Friedman Louisa bralette and a uh, Louisa thong. And this is just a super basic silk bralette and thong. It's so comfortable and it's so breathable and lightweight and all of this. Um, and it's just like a really, really good option as far as something that is really cute and special and also really, really practical. The thing I will say about them is their size range is not great. They're not very supportive. So it really depends on, are you buying something for someone who usually doesn't wear a bra, doesn't wear a bra to lounge, doesn't need a bra, and just kind of wants something that's just like the lightest bit of support. In that case, they're really great. Uh, or for people with smaller breasts, also a really good option. But the thing that I'll say is both this and the curvy bralette go up to an extra large. I wear a large in the Angela Friedman bralette and I wear a small in the Cosabella bralette. So even though they have technically the same size, the Cosabella bralette covers a much wider size range. It has a much more generous range within each size. If the size is gonna work out, it's a really great option and I think it would be a really nice gift. And last up, we have my absolute favorite. If you wanna get, you might have to get right now. I'm not sure what their wait times are like right now, but it is this entirely made to order ethical lingerie company based out of Australia. I really love this place. It's called Hopeless Lingerie. They have really good stuff that can be simultaneously either just really sexy and really cute or really practical or both. So I'm recommending the Pamela Bralette and the Deanna Knickers. I think it's a very cute little set, but they have tons and tons of options. And a really nice thing about them is their silhouettes are really functional and then their materials really change up the style a lot. So you can do a red lace or a fishnet or a mesh, depending on what style the person you're buying for really likes. Again, they're made to order and they go from an extra, extra small to a 5XL. So they have a really good size range and they'll also do custom sizing, which I have done before and it's great. The Pamela bralette in particular is a little more supportive. If you're buying for someone who usually needs more support, this is a really great way to go. They also have stuff that um, is a little less supportive and they have a really wide range. Um, I love their stuff. If you can get the timing to work out, I think they, they are like a really, really good option. Next, we have pajamas and robes. Lots of people like buying kind of special, more intimate items for people. But a lot of the time you really wanna buy something that someone is gonna feel really comfortable in and is just gonna make them happy, make them make the time that they spend at home and in bed nicer, a little bit more luxurious. And I think that that's also a really, really good way to go. When it comes to pajamas and robes, there are a lot of different directions you can go. If you live somewhere that's really, really cold, you can get some really warm stuff. For example, I recommend this Ugg robe, which is just so, big and luxe and comfy. I lived in California when I sold this and we got a lot of returns on it. So I would say don't buy it unless you're like going to Tahoe or live somewhere where it snows a lot. Um, but if you do, it's, it's so nice. It's like you're getting a big hug from a bear who loves you and doesn't wanna hurt you. 
You can also go more the kind of cool and practical, like a cover up, but you feel still kind of cute and sexy in it. And it's really soft and comfy. And for that, I recommend this row by Eberge. I think it technically only goes up to an extra large, but the sizing is really generous on it. Um, so that's something where like I wear a medium and I could probably even do a small and it would be fine. And then you can also go slightly more the sexy route when it comes to pajamas. And for that, I am recommending a couple of sets by Playful Promises. So Playful Promises um, sells a bunch of different brands. They have really good size ranges in their wire bras um, and their lingerie has less good size ranges. But <laughs> there's one by Felicity Hayward and Playful Promises and one by Gabby Fresh and Playful Promises. These are both great ways to go if you want something kind of cute and sexy, but also just like comfortable and wearable. So you're kind of going in between a matching set into pajama. I would say much more as a pajama or lounge item, but especially if you live somewhere where it's really hot, I think these can be a really good way to go. And then we have the really comfy side of things. I'm gonna recommend two really comfy sets. It can kind of feel like it's not as special to buy someone kind of a more practical pair of pajamas, but pajamas are something that most people don't wanna invest in and they are expensive. So finding something that is really simple or really functional exactly what that person is going to like can be an amazing present and get worn so many times. So I am recommending one, the Lunia, 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 I think probably Lunia, the Lunia washable silk set. So this is a silk top and bottom set. They have a bunch of other options too. Again, if you are buying for someone who's really sensitive to textures and materials, this is a great way to go. Silk is super smooth. It's super cooling. So if you live somewhere really hot, it's a great way to go. I think this set is a really great way to, you know, treat one, someone to something that is hypothetically really kind of basic and functional, but also something that they probably normally would not buy for themselves. And then lastly, in the pajama section, I have this little bundle from Girlfriend Collective, which they just started doing sleep. Uh, stuff. And I think that part of what really calls to me about this bundle is that this is a very practical set that I would be very excited to receive. Um, and I think a lot of people would as well, especially if you're buying for someone who isn't usually as into the really kind of like sexy, um, cute stuff, but they want something that just feels nice and they just feel, you know, nice and put together. Um, and also just really comfortable. So that's it as far as pajamas and robes go. Finally, we're gonna talk about chemises and bodysuits. These are a really good option if you're buying for someone who, again, you don't know their bra size, um, but you wanna get them something maybe that feels a little more intimate, a little more sexy, special than maybe a robe or a pair of pajamas, but you don't wanna get into the nitty gritty of sizes and everything. So the first one I'm gonna recommend is also by Hopeless Lingerie, and it is this little nighty just about the cutest thing and <laughs> so cute and definitely different from something that you could normally find. So I think that is a really solid option. And then we have this one by Montel. Montel, it's not like it has like the greatest size range in the world, but it's pretty good. This chemise goes up to a 3XL and it has bust support. So if you are buying this for someone who is really busty, uh, maybe when they are lounging, they need to wear a bra or they feel like they do because it's just more comfortable. And this can be a really great way to get them something that they can lounge in, sleep in, that has that support built in. Finally, we have the Colette chemise. Your size range isn't good, I'll tell you that up front, but it's this thing is so soft and so cute. And so I do think it's still a really good gift for people who um, they have the size for. That's it, that's my whole guide. In general, it's always gonna come down to, you just need to know what's gonna make the person you're buying a gift for feel good. If you know that, and then you know what size <laughs> they need, uh, you have a lot of options. Something that a lot of people could benefit from when buying lingerie for people is really taking a look at how much is this person going to enjoy this and for how long. So instead of buying them just kind of like a set that you find because it looks kind of cute off the model, really paying attention and figuring out what are they gonna feel great in? What would they wear? What do they want? Do they want just something for special occasions? will actually kind of add something to uh, their lingerie drawer. I think there are a lot of great ways to go about this. 
and I wish you all the best of luck. So again, let me know if you have any other kind of lingerie guides you want from me and um, I would be happy to make some more. I will see you all next week. Bye.